Okay, everyone, it's Gail. I am here to do sort of a little recap, little haul video on my two um, estate sales yesterday. So you saw some of this stuff, but maybe not in the detail that um, I'm going to show it. So I'm going to get started and just and just show you um, what I came up with. And also, uh, before I start, wanted to really thank you for all your fun comments um, with my first couple of shop with me's. Well, we'll see how it goes. It's hard to film shop at the same time I can tell you that so um and um but those the two sales that I went to yesterday both gals were like you can you can do this anytime just you know and so so we'll see how the how the summer progresses and stuff but anyway we're gonna go through these so this little um Riverside Literature Series super super cool little books um they are that most of them. I think there's only one that's in the 1900s. The rest of them are the 1800s. And <clears throat> these six I listed on my Etsy shop, so they're available there if you are interested. Um, this one, this one I thought was amazing. Rules of Conduct by George Washington, and its copyright is 1887. And it's a uh, diary of adventure, letters, and farewell addresses by George Washington. So cool. Um, and there's uh, one here by Alfred Lord Tennyson, one by Lord Byron, uh, T.B. Macaulay. I'm, I'm not familiar with him. William Shakespeare and Thomas, uh, let's see, looks like Samuel Taylor Coleridge and then uh, Thomas Campbell in this one and um, kind of cool in some of them I was going to show you the one so there's writing in some of them by the um, original owner who was Alice Harrison I think I was looking for the one yeah like this one has a big note from her and it's a poem actually and I, I wonder if she wrote the poem so Anyway, those were a super cool find, and I'm sharing them with you. So there are six listed on my shop if you're interested in those. Okay, we'll do the other thing that's going to be listed in the shop, which is um, this letterhead. Let's see if I can hold up the inscription kind of to the camera, like uh, from the Montana Constitutional Convention in 1971 and 72. And I got a lot of this paper. So I'm going to offer 50-page um, lots in my store until, until you know, I'm down to what I want to keep. I think this is going to, it's very good quality paper. It's got a watermark on it. Um, but it, I think it's going to coffee dye beautifully, so I'm really excited to use some of this myself. But this is what a 50-page lot will look like, and that is also listed in my Etsy. So that's those two. Oh, I'm so glad to do this video and clean up my room a little bit. I have stuff stacked everywhere. So then I got, um, I got this box of, I think it's, they might be second pages on the top. Um, and then there's some yellow, super thin paper in here and a little blue paper, you know, a little variety, but that's super thin at the bottom. Oh my gosh. That's going to, I'm, I'm dying to coffee diet. And then I got this box too of just blue paper. So I have a lot of fun papers. I need to have a coffee dyeing session here so I can coffee dye some of them up. I'm going to set those over here out of my way so we can look at the other stuff. Um, I'll kind of continue on the papers that I found. This one I found, um, it's the top of it. Let's see. There's some thicker paper, but the top of it is like the onion skin paper. And it's uh, legal size, so that's kind of cool. So that's going to be fun to coffee dye. 
I think. And um, let's see. Maybe I'll just take these out so you can see. And then there was um, another letterhead that was in there too that I, I love that. Love that photo. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize there's different ones. So look at this one. All Old West. Here's one with a stagecoach. Oh, here's one that's kind of like a like a bill. And those look like they're all the same. Here's some with that picture, but without the... Yeah, anyhow, excited about those. I think those are cool. And this was all there was of that, but awesome. And then some small cars company in Helena. And I love it because it has Helena on it, you know. But, um, yeah. So, so yeah, I'm going to have some fun with some coffee dyeing of different papers coming up here. So, that was that. Um, I grabbed a, ugh, a pack of used file folders because I go through them like crazy coffee dyeing them and there's legal sized here too so that that's a lot of journaling cards in that, <laughs> in that one so those will be great I'll get those coffee dyed up too and then I grabbed this little two dollar pack it has a variety of envelopes I always look for that like um look at this let me cut this and I'll show you um, I always look for them at estate sales because they're so expensive and I go through envelopes like crazy on my Etsy. So always keep that in mind too when you're ordering from Etsy is the seller has to provide the packaging too and it's not cheap. Like look at this. So so I got this whole pack for $2 and this would have been, I think these are like $2.39 at Walmart or something like that, $2.59. So that was a good deal. So envelopes. That's why I always look in the office supply area. I just gave myself a paper cut. <laughs> it's an occupational hazard. Okay, so then um, I think you saw me pick this up, this um, little set of these uh, candles that you use for uh, sealing a uh, letter. And I went to Hobby Lobby. Um, I wonder if I have that. I'll grab it and show it to you. So if you guys are interested in picking one up, um, I just got this at Hobby Lobby and it's just the little seals. There's a rose and a heart comes with three little candles itself. And then I love the turquoise. So I picked those up too. So I got those at Hobby Lobby, but the for three turquoise ones, they were $5.99 at Hobby Lobby. I got this whole set for $4. So that was a pretty good find. Okay. And then, um, then I think you may, might have seen me pick this up if you watched the shop with me. This shorthand forms. I love to use shorthand paper in my journals. Um, I take shorthand. I think I've told you that before. I and I can still do it. My grandkids love it. They think I'm magical doing doing the shorthand. So um, anyway, for 25 cents, this was a this was a good one. This was a good one. This one is um, copyright 1931 from the Greg Publishing Company. Yeah, this one doesn't say, but they when I was taking it, they called it Greg shorthand. So there you go. Got that. Then I got the for a dollar. I got this book of bulbs, and um, I'm real excited about this one. This has some beautiful illustrations in it. Let's see if I can. That are kind of almost like pen sketches of the flowers. Plus, it has. Um, there's another one. Yeah, I love those. Yeah, there's quite a few in here. And um, and then some colored ones too. So so yeah, that'll be awesome in my garden journal. So got that. And then you also saw me with this night before Christmas, um, this little book, which is just literally barely hanging together. 
and it's got some it's got some pencil marks on that I'm hoping I can get them off of the pictures. 1918 this book. Isn't that so much fun? Torn pages. I mean it's it's in rough shape but there's enough to be used in there for sure. So, I'm excited about that. And then this Pinocchio one, I got it the same sale and um it too is about to fall out of the binding. It says Christmas 1929. Let's see. Copyright 1927 on this Pinocchio one. And there's there's some cool illustrations in it too. So I don't know. A Pinocchio journal would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? To you know, I know. I mean, you could use like those wood decorative papers that look like wood and stuff. Anyway, anyway, it's really, it's a cool book, but it, it too is kind of on its last legs. So got that. Then I got, I got this um, catalog from 1948. And there's, I think it would be really fun for a guy journal. I mean, I don't know that I'd use the gun pages per se, but there's other things in here like, um, I thought I saw, well, there's barometer sets, there, I thought I saw some, there's books, there's a bunch of books, and these, this is why I bought it, was these cool ads are, those are really cool, so... Yeah, a more masculine journal, this would be fun. So I'm going to see if I use this one. And if I don't, um, I may list it on my Etsy if I, you know, if it hangs around for a while and I haven't used it. Oh, there's some kind of, kind of cool forms. Huh. Watches and boots, sleeping bags, camping stuff. Belts. <laughs> it's kind of like a man's catalog <laughs> from back then. Yeah. So it looks like some tools and things. So anyway, we'll we'll see. Like I say, I'll either I'll either use that or I'll put it in my Etsy. And then of course I found my my uh, Betty Crocker cookbook, which I'm so excited because. Um, I want to do some, I want to do some, I have so many vintage cookbooks that I could add into this and just make it so fun. So, and definitely that's on my list of to do's. So, and then you saw me with this, with the, um, I got, I ended up buying six of the calendars. I forget who it was. Um, it might've been my friend candy that said buy all those calendars buy them <laughs> but um i just i'm not certain how i'm going to use them and i didn't want the whole stack i mean seriously at some point you got to just go i can't fit any more stuff in my room but such great i mean he just was a genius wasn't he he just captured a time that uh, it's pretty special so anyway I got I got six of those and then um oh and then you guys saw me I think get all excited about these um recipe cards here and I was so excited and I was double excited when I found that there were actually two of them <laughs> So I have a bunch of these too, and um, so I'm not sure. Uh, I know um, I know there's there's some that I want to include in some happy mails that I am owing some people, um, but there's so many there. I'll probably share those on my Etsy too at some point if I can ever get them listed. And then, oh, I I found this at the first estate sale I went to after I was done filming. And I love it. It's the tatting 
you know, and um, it was two dollars. And what I loved about it was the orange. I've never seen an orange one. So I think this will be fabulous in um, in a autumn journal, you know, a fall journal. So there's that. And then um, I think I told you I was gonna grab some, um, grab some thread at the one at the one estate sale and so I got this bag and um, it was expensive it was $12 for the bag but I buy this Guterman thread that's the thread I buy and one of these is usually um, you know five dollars on its own so it it had several spools that of that type of thread then a couple other little random ones which is fine and then and it had a seam ripper and it had look at these itty bitty scissors i mean they must just be for cutting your threads i guess um it had a, a heavy jacket zipper which i'll probably sell at a garage sale because i don't really need that some seam binding or this is uh, bias tape and I don't really I don't really use that so I don't know what will happen with that then this oh this is hilarious this is an empty spool of ribbon nothing on it okay that's in the garbage and a cap off of something never know what you're gonna get you know um, some needles, which is great. There's two in here, so that's great. And uh, and a couple of wooden buttons. So that's what I got. But really, um, these three threads themselves would have been over what I paid for this bag of um, of sewing things. So there's that. And then these earrings I bought only for. Um, only for to use take them apart and use them as charms so there's santa there this one this one was interesting i gotta show you guys this one so this one has see the itty bitty little charms on it so i'm thinking of taking those off and those will be cute like just on little journaling cards or something i think and then um, there was this Santa one that will be super cute on Christmas journals and the little Christmas trees too will be good. And yeah, so out of these, what did I get? Six or seven, um, four of them were Christmas. And this is just like a little bell uh, with a bow. And that, that'll be super cute on a Christmas journal. And then I got um, these, which will just make, make fun little charms dangling. And then I got the dragonflies. So, so that was my estate sale hauls haul from yesterday from the two sales um it was super fun and i did enjoy filming it was a challenge i'm not gonna lie because um hanging on to the camera and trying to shop and trying to make sure the camera wasn't going every which away and was actually zeroed in on something was was kind of a challenge but anyway so that's what i came up with and my next couple videos are going to be a couple of happy mails that um after doing all of this i came home and there were happy mails um in my mailbox and sitting on my porch so stay tuned for those thanks so much everybody bye bye